Hello, I'm Johnny Rowland, your host of The Shooting Show, and welcome to today's program, friends. It's a great day, uh, just a pretty fall day to be out shooting. We're so glad to have you with us. Have a great show for you today. Let's get started with a little shooting. Before we do any talking, let's do some shooting. Someone had a request, and in fact, I did a demo the other day at the Three Gun National Match over at Clark's, and someone had a request uh, uh, an, for an answer about our standard 185 Nostra and our 460 Roland cartridge on over penetration. Well, let's see how that works. Okay, this would also hold true for our defense load, but let's see what the hot rod does. <laughs> yeah, I got wet. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've got to remember to back up. Okay. Real one stopped in the second bottle. It absolutely just grenaded the first bottle, and look, it stopped. Our hole here, it stopped in the second, which would mean for a light skinned animal like a deer, or certainly for defense, our full charge load with the nostril bullet. Or, and certainly the defense load, they're not overly penetrated. But now then, friends, let's say we want penetration. Say uh, you're a, uh, carrying a backup gun to your rifle. Maybe you'll run into bears, uh, some large game animals, hog hunters here in the south. Uh, heck, I know some people who trap alligators. I think this would be great for them. Let's see about our special penetration load, which would be the 230 grain uh, Hornady full metal jacket bullet running over 1300 feet per second about 1340 actually we have a water bottle a landscape timber remember landscape timber is the center of the tree treated wood very tough about three and a half four inches thick and a couple of water bottles behind it let's see what happens with our super penetrator load All right, friends, let's definitely, let's see what happened to the first bottle. Absolutely, it exploded darn near like a hollow point, the first bottle. Let's take a look at our landscape timber in one side and out the other. And went right on through the uh, next water bottle, went right on out, uh, broke, uh, broke it well, actually. The, uh, second water bottle behind the landscape timber so it gives us options that we just haven't had friends remember to look for the uh, november december issue of the american handgunner for john taffin's article there in the american handgunner we appreciate him doing that but he did it on his own uh, strictly on the merit of the cartridge as i said before his barrel's a little bit slow but hey uh, uh that's okay it's only like 20 feet per second off and you'll have slight differences among barrels because our average barrel that leaves here for our 460 out of the 5 inch gun runs a 1550 or better for velocity. Anyway, you know friends, we've been telling you what was going to be happening with, uh, with the gun companies. Uh, last week we did not know what uh, the Justice Department and some of these attorneys had uh, figured out or had agreed to do as far as firearms manufacturers. Now we understand that Colt Firearms, one of the great historical names in American gun history, has folded and is going to agree to stop selling Colt Firearms to the public. They're going to work on this ridiculous smart gun. They put a bracelet like a watch band or something on your wrist, and this thing tells your gun that it's okay to fire. Now, friends, that's crazy. Now, Colt Firearms is going off on this tangent. You know, that is stupid. You know what? You can't prevent... You know, you can't dull every axe blade. You can't do it because then it's no good to anything. And what they want to do is totally disarm us. I say they, the government, the United Nations people, the people that are currently in our own government. And that's just as wrong as can be. And friends, they've already, they've already forced Colt to buckle under. Colt has a military contract, and that's the way it is. However, the good news is there wasn't a single, in my opinion, first-line product that Colt has been currently offering. If you want a 1911, get a Kimber, the best there is. 
Uh, certainly there are other good ones. Springfield, there is a, a new company coming that's going to have a great 1911. We'll be talking in a couple of weeks. So uh, anyway, uh, as far as AR-15s, get a Bushmaster or an Armalite or an Olympic. They made better AR-15s than Colt anyway. Single action revolvers, get a Uberti, or better yet, get a Ruger. So double action revolvers, start with a Dan Wesson or a Smith & Wesson. Uh, certainly, or Taurus is pretty darn good double action revolvers. Rossi, you know, Colt didn't make a first line anything, so maybe this is their way of getting a lot of money. They got millions of dollars in a government grant literally got bought off and maybe the Clinton administration threatened uh, to take away their military contract for the M16. Who knows? But friends, it's here. Now then, if you didn't think trying to state our case about our purpose as gun owners, certainly responsible gun owners, here on television, if you didn't think it was important, a lot of people said, when we first broke this news, we had people say, oh, I can't be. They said, no, Johnny's making that up. No, huh? No, I can't be. Well, it's here. It's here. Friends, please help us. You know, we have the uplink. We do not have the money to get it running. Will you please help us stay on the air? Will you please help us reach more people? We have to. If we don't, we're going we're gonna to fall. We're going to fall as gun owners. We're going to fall as free Americans. We're going to give away our country. We're going to give away our freedom. Will you please help us stay on the air? Our standard address, the shooting show, 327 Irvin Rowland Road in Dublin, Louisiana, zip code 71024. Please help us if you can, friends, because this thing, this battle is not going away. Stay tuned for more of the shooting show after these important messages. Shoot and Show will be right back after this break for your local cable company or TV station. Now, friends, here's one of the most important publications you can get. This is the great Georgia Arms catalog, and please write their phone number down, 1-800-624-6861. This is a tremendous catalog with the best ammunition prices available in the United States. Okay, well, here's a mention of the shooting show. Hey, that, that's reason enough to support them right there, but you get superior ammunition at superior prices. Let's look over here. Here we, whoops, let's see, what do we see? 460 rolling, yes indeed, but we also see a tremendous number of other things. 45 ACPs, 44 Magnums, 41 Magnums, certainly our uh, defense load there, defense special 41 Magnum load available, but all kinds of others. 9 millimeters, 357 SIGs, 44 specials, 30 out sixes, 7 mags, all kinds of neat stuff, plus they have components. If you want to load your own, they'll sell you lead bullets, they'll sell you nostril bullets, all kinds of great features. Yes, in fact, they'll even sell you a 460 rolling kit for uh, the great 1911 guns, cleaning accessories. Uh, here's gunpowder for sale, uh, loading equipment for sale. Friends, give them a call today. These are some of the finest people, period, that I've ever had a chance to meet. Curtis Shipley and our good friend Larry Haney from, from Georgia Arms, and they're helping to support the shooting show. Give them a call today. Get a free catalog, 1-800-624-6861. And please don't forget to tell them you saw it here on our show. Friends, we're going to show you, uh, this is a para ordnance gun that belongs to one of our viewers, actually. And we have converted this to 460. And uh, these are mechanically sound gun, but we're finding that uh, the para ordnance guns are requiring a little extra 
uh, fitting in fact. So we're charging an extra $50 on the ramp barrel on the power ordnance kit. These guns come with a 14 round magazine. Also they have 10 round magazines available and mechanically speaking they're made of, of good materials. Uh, certainly uh, I would like to see a better a beaver tail grip safety uh, certainly and I'd like to see a a front sight that was made like the Kimber that wasn't staked in. So uh, that's something that I think they could do. But we're finding while being sound guns, they're requiring a little fitting. These are good shooting guns, uh, certainly nicely made. Uh, if you'd like to convert a power ordinance to our 460, call me because we have a, a different bullet arrangement. Uh, the magazines are a little shorter through here. They don't have as much uh, front to back length as a standard uh, 45 magazine so there are some special adjustments we can make on this this does make a nice carry package if if this is what you like you have 14 rounds available in the gun and uh, uh, certainly uh, they're worthwhile pieces of equipment now friends a lot of, of para ordnance owners have difficulty with the magazines and and there's not anything on these guns that's not fixable as far as making them function and I wish those folks in Canada, you probably have another situation where the people who actually manufacture them, and they're not the only ones, and I'm guessing here are not uh, really shooters because uh, uh, that's just the way it is. A lot of manufacturers that make guns are not really shooters, so they depend on you and I to tell them what we want or what we need in, uh, in a gun, whether it's handgun, rifle, or even shotgun. So anyway, uh, this is an option. You know, this makes the government awfully nervous having a 14-round magazine. It makes those people in Washington just terribly nervous. <laughs> but then a lot of things make them nervous. I would imagine that having uh, the vote in the hands of the American citizen also makes them nervous. But something we wanted to show you, the power ordinance. We just had three in the guns on slide lock now, but a uh, very nice piece of work. Now friends, this past weekend we were out at Clark Custom Guns in Princeton, Louisiana for the three gun nationals, that shotgun, pistol, and rifle, and let's show you some highlights of that match. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll recognize this young man. This is Bruce Pite, one of the uh, best all-around shooters in the country. Bruce, glad you could get down for this match. Tell us about your year briefly, if you will, sir. Well, I've uh, been busy. Um, started off the Team Challenge. I had a good time, had a couple of bad runs there. But, uh, then come May, ended up winning the Bianchi Cup. Uh, set a record there, 185 X's. Um, just came back from Italy. Um, the NRA arranged for a, a U.S. team to go to the European Bianchi Cup, so we went there. Uh, Americans finished one, two, and three. So that, that turned out real well. Come November, we're headed to uh, New Zealand uh, for the World Bianchi Cup, and hopefully we'll have everyone go good there. Well, certainly good to see you, Bruce. Wish you a lot of good luck. Thank you very much. Good to see you. We have Michael Boyd. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Brett Tyson with a uh, very fine shooter, Joe, here in Louisiana, I believe. And they've got a shotgun stage. This is a good stage of cleaning out. It's going to have to go prone here and shoot from within the box. They're setting up the steel targets. These three gun matches are really. Uh, one, they're a lot of effort, logistically speaking, but you've got a tremendous number of shooters from all over the country. these guns well, everybody's got uh, 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 largely customized. I guess you could compete with a stock gun, but notice the muzzle brake on this particular rifle. 
a little bitty hole for the bullet there. And all sorts of interesting uh, ideas there. This is certainly another whole idea on muzzle brake fuel on this particular rifle. Yeah, stand by. Eyes and ears. Let's get some This is Tom Gusman. He's with a sporting goods company in Violet, Louisiana. He's up here uh, with a number of different products. And Tom, this is an unusual sight. Now, when I looked at this, I said, how in the world can you see through it? But in fact, how do you operate that sight, sir? Well, when you take the cover off, you wake it up and the dot comes on as soon as you take the cover off. And there it is, friends. You can see the dot right there on the little screen. I will get in line here in a moment so you can see it. But that's pretty amazing. So you've got a red dot scope, and to turn it off, you just simply cover it up and it goes right back to sleep. Which for competition uses is just fine at the time? Yes, sir, it is. So are these, are, are, uh, what is the price range of one of these sites? They uh, list for about $279. Uh-huh. And that's an Optimum or Optima? Optimum. It's a, a Casco makes it. It's uh -huh. called the Optima 2000. Uh -huh. And it's really good for someone who shoots open and limited uh -huh. because the line of sight is down close to the Much slide, lower the gun. just like iron sights would be. Uh -huh. So you don't have that muscle memory that you have to change from the higher scope to the iron sights and back and forth. But this one, it's right on top of the slide, just like a set of iron sights. Well, great. Sir, appreciate you showing that to us. Okay. And if anyone's around Violet, Louisiana, well, we'll invite you to come see. You. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Wayne Seal. And Wayne, you've been a competitor here at the at the three gun match, right? Right, for the last uh, two years. The last two years, and certainly it's a great match. Have you? Are you pleased with your performance? <laughs> no, not really. Next year, maybe I'll be a little more. Clear. Well, yes, you had kind of bad weather, didn't you? Yeah, it was kind of a little bad. We had to bag the targets on some stages. It always kind of fixed our number. I understand that. Well, what do we have here at Lex Guns that you were going to show us? Well, some of the use of the kind of whip is real lightweight, real thin, little carry job gun with some linkless design, uh -huh. real thin. It's a real, real hot out of the concealed carry market. Uh, you got some of the more the guys that shoot open division have more sophisticated type guns for, of course, the CMC Bev. Got the optical siding, the holes right. to lighten for them so the gun will cycle a little faster. Uh -huh. It shoots a little better. It's got the ports and stuff so it shoots a little flatter. It uses some of the gas to operate a gun. You don't have near of a muzzle jump or, or so forth with it. Uh, let's see. we are start carrying a new Riley line. It uses the lengthless design barrels and so forth. Right. The uh, recoil is perceived a lot better. And they are very nice guns, aren't they? Yes, they are. Real well fitted. Very good. And you folks, not only, what gun were you shooting, Wayne, in the, in the competition? Well, I'm shooting a gun real similar to the Edge, the STI Edge. Uh huh. And it's just an extended disc cover. It's got a little added weight to the bottom end, the tungsten guide rod. Of course, it's empty. And uh, you've got all your weight down low where it really hips you out. It's kind of hips on a muzzle lift. Now, is that a polymer? Uh, it's got a polymer bottom end. Bottom of course, end. the frame and, and slide and barrel and so forth is all steel. But just the grip itself and trigger guard is a polymer. Mm -hmm. well, these guns have really proven themselves in, in the competition, haven't they? Oh, yeah, very definitely. But, you know, everybody that's winning is shooting a gun very similar to this. Well, Wayne, we appreciate you taking time to talk with us. Wish you a lot of good luck. Thank you. Stay tuned for more of the shooting show after these important messages.
Now, friends, here it is, the great 460 Roland cartridge and guns chambered for them. Of course, we have the great Dan Wesson. We also have our full-size 1911 kit here, or we can actually sell you a new 460 uh, gun, Kimber, Springfield, or others. And this is the Kimber Compact uh, converted to 460 Roland. Again, it gives us 44 Magnum power in a package that is much smaller, lighter, easier to shoot, less recoil, less muzzle blast. Friends, this may be the cartridge of the decade here. Uh, the 460 Roland is available, of course, factory ammo from Georgia Arms. You can call us here at the program about kits and guns, including our AR-15 and others. This is John Paul, uh, actually JP Enterprises. These folks are from Minnesota, and we have seen some of their very fine rifles in the past, but John, you have something new, don't you? Great. Yeah, we uh, decided to try and do the same thing with the shotgun we've done with the rifles, just to increase uh -huh. the whole potential of the gun. So we made a, a recoil eliminator that attaches right in the middle of the barrel, because there's still some pressure to work with here as My opposed goodness. to the muzzle. And also the dwell time on the comp is longer, because it works as long as the wad column is in the barrel. So the, the gas exits the barrel into this compensator and hits the brake, generating a forward impulse on the barrel that subtracts from the recoil. Well, so so a great the, idea. Right? A, a great idea. And then we port one side for a right-handed shooter. The right side gives you a thrust vector into your, uh -huh. into your support arm, see? Now we have a melt-in mount for the Optima sight. You like that Optima sight, huh? It works fantastic. Yeah, you can put this right even with the rib so that uh, you mount the gun the same as if you're shooting the rib. So uh -huh. Very fast sight, and even if the, if the sight fails on you, can still shoot the rip, so it's uh -huh. kind of handy. Well, that is terrific. Now, I see some other modifications. You've made one, the larger bolt handle there. Right, yeah, this is a Choate's uh, larger op handle for the practical shooting. Uh -huh. and this is going to set up for the speed loader sticks, the tech right. loader. And it's got an expanded loading gate on it, so just everything works better when you're using that gate. Great. So it's all set up for IPSA practical. Well, sir, for more information on your product line, how can people get in touch with you? Well, we've got a big website, okay. jpar15.com. JPAR15.com. JP great, great. And all the information about us, you can find us right there. You can uh, call us up for catalog. Well, listen, we appreciate you coming down to this three gun match, and nice to meet you. Wish you a lot of good luck. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the shoot off after the three gun nationals here at Clark Custom Guns. And we're going to get a couple of shooters going through the various stages. It's going to be exciting. I that's what we do here. Uh, the competitor, because this is the, uh, the top people that finished in the match that get into the shoot-off. They have three guns. They have a handgun on the table for the targets on the right. They have a shotgun for these pepper poppers here. And then they have the rifle for the 100-yard uh, targets out here. We've got, what, like six targets out so far. Of course, the adrenaline is flowing. Everybody's watching. It's showtime. <laughs> So I'll start with the rifle. Friends, we go. Yes, indeed. Shotgun. Yes. Yes, Stay tuned for more of the shooting show after these important messages. The shooting show will be right back after this break for your local cable company or TV station.
Now, friends, I actually had to leave and go do our radio show, so I didn't get to finish taping the shoot-off. We do want to congratulate Jerry Michalik as the overall winner in the three-gun nationals held here at Clark Custom Guns in Princeton, Louisiana. Jim Clark, Jr. actually won the shoot-off. Very, very difficult competition. We want to congratulate the winners. Uh, certainly some great shooting. It is a great sport, and certainly we enjoy taking part in it. And now, friends, we want to go to our support group, and let me announce now we will be at the Wanamaker Gun Show in Tulsa, Oklahoma, on October 23rd and 24th. So everyone come by and visit with us. The judge and I are both going to be there and looking forward to meeting as many of you folks as possible. I want to mention our good friend Dennis Crocker, firearms trainer there in South Carolina. Dennis sells the holsters made by Kramer. Uh, for our 460 rolling gun. So you can call Dennis at area 864-587-8722. We have custom leather work and saddlery in Denham Springs, Louisiana. They do all kinds of leather work. You can call them at area 225-667-9225. We have camouflage technologies. These folks paint gun stocks in a, better than anybody else. You can call them at area 909-674-6488. We have BC Armory. Bruce works on pistols and revolvers. He's in East Leroy, Michigan. His number is area 616-729-5508. We have Cotra Refrigeration, Heating, and Cooling there in Tuscumbia, Alabama. He does all kinds of work along that line. You can call Wade at area 256-381-1887. And we have Brooks Communication in Albuquerque, New Mexico. All your communication needs in that area, area 505-888-2929. And Gearlings Equipment Rentals in Southern California. Uh, they rent all kinds of heavy equipment. Their number is area 909-354-6476. Friends, we're out of time. We'll see you on the next show.